It is dessert week in the AM Kitchen, and today our taste buds take us to Quebec. Chef Simon Debord of Montreal restaurant Les Enfants Terribles is here to share some of the tasty treats the province is known for. Nice to see you, ça Thanks va? for having us. Thanks for having us. Yes, ça va? Ça va bien, merci. And so what I wanted to ask first is that we're making this pudding. How do you say the pudding? Pudding chômeur. What is pudding chômeur? Basically, it's cheap ingredients. You know, it's an old recipe, so it's flour, sugar, butter, sometimes eggs. That's it. So the translation in English is poor, poor, poor persons or poor man's pudding, poor man's pudding or pudding for the unemployed. So yeah. the basics, so using yeah. what you have in the fridge That's and it. putting everything together. That's it. Okay, so go ahead and make it for us and we'll continue to talk. How popular is it? Do a lot of people like this? It's, it's the most popular dessert at Les Enfants Terribles. Because maple syrup is everything, the yeah. caramel is everything. It's all that comfort food, yes? Yeah, that's it. But you know, we call it poor man's pudding. Maple syrup these days is not cheap, Simon. But the classic recipe is without maple syrup. I see. That's a chef twist. It's the chef twist <laughs> that they do Les Enfants Terribles. Okay, so we've got the butter. Yeah, we're just smoothing the butter with the sugar. Then we're gonna add the eggs one by one. Then the flour and the baking powder, and that's it for the dough. So this is easy. Yeah. It's not so hard to make at all. No. Okay, so you're putting the eggs. Yeah. Can I help you with the other? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. And you know what? This would be fun too for the family to make. Huh? Yeah, Kids? of course, of course. Yeah, it's everybody can kind of. Yeah, it's quick. So you're making the dough. And then the caramel sauce. The caramel sauce is only cream, brown sugar, and the maple syrup. So we have, we've been heating this. You got this at about eight yeah. right now, right? And so in here... So you, you want to bring this to a boil? Yes. And then with the brown sugar and the maple syrup, cook it for about five minutes. Or That's so, yeah. not longer than that. No, otherwise it's going to split. Now, what is the, is there something that you would accompany this with? So once we make this, is there something that goes along Just with the pudding? Just to lower the shaman? sugar, maybe some fresh fruits. <laughs> Fresh berries. <laughs> to make it kind of healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. How long do you have to do this? That's it. Now okay. we're going to add the flour. Okay. And already that's got great color. So you add the flour. And how do you know when it's, when it's just about done? It's going to come off the sides. Okay. So that's the trick there. So you want to do that. And then we've got, this is the dough here, right? Yeah, this is the finished product. So this is what I want to show, if we can just get a shot of yeah. that. So Simon is finishing that up in the mixer, but this is what the dough, this is what the dough looks like here. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay, so we can move you over here. You want to put it in the fridge, like one or two hours before you use it. Just so it, it sets, yeah. right? So this right here is set dough that we've just shown yeah. everybody. And then what do we do? Then you're going to pour the caramel on top. Okay, is this the you caramel here? It? Yes. Yeah, just cover you it. You trust me to do this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just cover so just the cake. All of it? Yeah. Okay, when you say cover, because I will pour a lot, I like the sweet <laughs> stuff. So is that is that good? A little bit more. Bev would be fainting with this because of the sweet. Okay, look at that. That's it, we're good. Okay, never too sweet for me. Okay, so that's See, now good. I'm adding the brown sugar to the cream. Does it have to be brown sugar, Simo? Or yeah. could you, it has to be brown sugar. Okay. Yeah. So you're adding that and you're just stirring that Just a little up. bit brown sugar. Okay. So that was a little bit? bit. <laughs> a lot of sugar. But the more the better for Then me. the maple syrup. Oh my gosh. So brown sugar and maple syrup. Yeah. Okay. And how long will you? Five minutes. Five just, minutes there. Just okay. whisk it a little bit. That's it. And that's it. The dough is done. And so this, would this be ready? Is this? This is ready for the oven. This is ready for the, and how long would it stay in the 20, oven? 20, 25 minutes, uh, 325. And we've got a finished version. Can we yeah. show everybody the finished version? And so, what it looks like? So this oh is the gosh, pudding and, chomar. Oh my gosh, okay, the look at this. The famous one. The famous from Les Enfants Terribles and the pudding chomar. Look at that. And actually we serve it with a shot of cream. Is this one serving? Yeah. Oh my goodness, okay. I want to taste it, but I don't have a spoon and I don't think I should scoop it out with my hands, although I really <laughs> want to do that right now because that's really rude on national television. So we won't do that, but it looks so good. And what is this? Is this just the dough that's risen? Yeah. Okay, because it almost the, looks like a cookie or something yeah, on yeah, the top. Yeah, with the baking powder. It's not, you just have a nice crust on top and it's all smooth inside. And I would, you know what? I wouldn't be averse to putting some whipped cream on there. Do you ever do that instead of the fruit? Or for, ice me, cream? for me, it's even too rich. Really? <laughs> we, just like this is perfect for me. Really, just good. Just good like enough. this is perfect. If you add more cream, you, you can, you can. I'll tell you what, we'll find some spoons and, yeah. and we'll taste out this, this decadent little perfect. dessert. Okay, dessert. thank you so much, Simon.
If you'd like to try the Pudding Chamel in person, Les Enfants Terribles is taking part in Montreal's annual restaurant week, October 29th to November 8th, and you will find a link along with today's recipe on our website. We'll be right back.